everybody to Miss Debbie's classroom for another fun and exciting speech and drama lesson. I hope you have been enjoying all the other lessons that you have been um, watching and hopefully even participating in. Have you? I hope you have been. Well, anyway, today we start with something new. Let's do some new exercises. Let's also explore a new theme. We're going to talk about patience. Patience. Have you heard that word patience before? Mm, I'm sure you have. I'm sure you may have heard your teachers or your parents saying, mm, we need to be patient. Let's patiently wait or um, let's do this patiently. I'm sure you have heard that, right? But what does patience mean? Do you know? Hmm, let's see. <laughs> patience means waiting, but waiting calmly, waiting Patiently, <laughs> right? Not being agitated, not getting angry, but that we can wait. That's what we're going to explore today. Now, you remember what we normally do at the start of every lesson. That's right, it's warm up time. Are you ready to start with our first warm up? Remember, find a space that is empty that you can stand and do the warm-up with me. And make sure there's nothing in your way that you can bump into, oops, like this. Oh, I shouldn't be bumping into that, right? So make sure you have enough space to move around, okay? All right, good. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do this warm-up where we need to wobble our legs. Let me get as far as possible so you can see. I'm going to wobble my leg, wobbly walk. That's the, how the song goes. So we're going to walk around with our wobbly legs. Okay, can you try and do that? Come on, you practice first. Let's practice wobbling our legs. Okay, okay, here we go. The music's going to come on. Oh. lesson 
what did we learn about? We talked about humor, things that make us happy and make us laugh and bring joy to our hearts, right? Remember, we were, uh, we pretended to be different animals and things like that. Well, yeah, remember some of these animals can uh, make us laugh too. Or we could be clowns. <laughs> All these kind of characters and animals, if you want animals to even speak, or it could be a talking cow, can make, bring humor to, uh, to where you are, to the people around you, bring joy, right? And that makes us happy. So I have this next warm up, which is about being happy. Let's do it together. We'll listen to the music and do all the actions. Warm-ups make us you know, loosen our bodies up and helps us when we do speech or drama or even our imagination. Okay, helps us to tune in to our lesson that we are going to have right now. Okay, here we go. to the music and what it tells us to do.
you a story about a little princess, a little girl who just um, couldn't wait. Listen to the story and then we'll talk about waiting, okay? All right. It's called, I want my potty. Mm -hmm. Some of us may still be trying to um, train ourselves to use a toilet and not use diapers, right? Maybe, maybe you only use diapers at night when you're sleeping. Or maybe sometimes during the day, you could have little mishaps. But let's just listen to the story first, okay? It's called, I Want My Potty, uh, written by Tony Ross. Nappies are yeah, said the little princess. There must be something better. The potty is the place, said the queen. At first, the little princess thought the potty was worse. The potty's the place, said the queen. So, the little princess had to learn. Sometimes the little princess was a long way from the potty when she needed it most. <gasps> Look at her face. Oh my goodness, she really needs the potty. Quick, 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 quick. Sometimes the little princess played tricks on the potty. Oh, she's using uh, the potty on her head and sitting on her crown. And sometimes the potty played tricks on the little princess. Soon, the potty was fun. She started to have fun with the potty. Ah, and the little princess loved it. She's getting used to sitting on the potty now. Everybody said the little princess was clever and would grow up to be a wonderful queen. The potty's the place, said the little princess proudly. One day, the little princess was playing at the top of the castle when... I want my potty! She cried. <gasps> oh no! She, she wants her potty! cried the maid. Oh dear! She wants her potty! cried the king. Uh-oh, where's her potty? Oh, oh dear, she, she wants a potty, cried the cook. Quick, 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 quick. Oh, she wants a potty, cried the gardener. Ah, ah, oh, she wants a potty, cried the general. Oh dear, where is a potty, where is a potty? Uh-uh, I know where her potty is cried the admiral. Uh-oh, he's playing with it. Oh, so the potty was taken as quickly as possible to the princess. Oh, look at that. They're going really quick. Just, oh dear, a little too late. She couldn't wait any longer. The end. So there you go. Sometimes uh, we try our best to wait, but sometimes things happen and we make a mess and we can't wait for the potty or for a cloth to come or, you know, we could be eating ice cream and it's all dripping and quick, quick, get me a tissue. Oh, and then it goes all over your clothes. Okay. So sometimes we just can't wait. Oh, we do. We do try to wait, but mishaps happen. And it's okay. When it comes to things like this, we can, we can just wipe up and, um, the next time it happens to us, we try to wait a little longer or we try to do things that would help us so that we don't have to wait too long. But 
if we really need to wait for something, let's say, maybe, maybe you want to listen to a story and you ask mommy to read you the story, but she is busy at the moment doing something and she can't read you the story at that moment, you need to wait. And we shouldn't, we should wait calmly. We shouldn't be showing our temper or, or stomping our feet or getting angry or crying because we just don't want to wait. So we need to practice waiting. I hope you can. Will you practice waiting? Waiting calmly? I'm glad you are going to try. Let's imagine that we are going to cook. Do you like cooking? <laughs> or do you like eating? Well, let's imagine to cook. Because cooking needs us to be patient, right? Why do we need to be patient when we cook? We need to wait for the food to cook before we can eat it. That's why cooking helps us to practice patience. Okay, so if you have um, an apron, you could oops, put on an apron like this. I've got an apron. Mm -hmm. And usually a chef, okay, a chef is a person who cooks, would have a chef's hat, but I don't have a chef's hat. So I thought I'd just use a show a cup like this and imagine it's a chef's hat. <laughs> you go find yourself a chef's hat or a shower cap or any kind of hat and an apron. And we are going to cook. Are you ready to cook? Hmm. What else would we need to cook? Hmm. All right, this is what I've got. Have you got your apron <clears throat> and maybe a hat to imagine that that is your um, chef's hat? I got myself a chopping board and mm, this is a plastic knife. Now, I don't have toy knives or toy fruits or toy vegetables at home. But if you do have, I'm sure you might have some kind of cooking set at home, right? You can go gather all your cooking things and fruits. And then we are going to imagine that we're going to be chopping. I have my, these are real fruits, <laughs> broccoli. So we're going to imagine, I'm not going to really chop it, but I'm going to imagine, I'm going to say chop, chop. Choppity chop. Can you say that? Chop, chop, choppity chop. Chop off the bottom and chop off the top. What there is left, you just put in the pot. My pot is down there. Chop, chop, choppity chop. Let's see what else do I have. Oh, a French bean. Chop, chop, choppity chop. You say that with me now. Ready? Go. Chop, chop, choppity chop. Chop off the bottom and chop off the top. What there is left, we just put in the pot. It's going into my pot. Chop, chop, choppity chop. What else do I have? Ah. A carrot. Hmm. Ready? Let's say it together. Chop, chop, choppity chop. Chop off the bottom and chop off the top. <laughs> what there is left, just put it in the pot. Chop, chop, choppity chop. Let's see. Oh, I've got some cabbage. This is cabbage. A small piece, a quarter of a cabbage. Chop, chop, choppity chop. Chop of the bottom and chop of the top. What there is left, just put in the pot. Aha, put it in my pot. Chop, chop, choppity chop. 
Let's see. I'm gonna put more things. What do you have? I don't know what you have, but you just take whatever fruit or vegetables you may have. I've got a cucumber. This is fun. Let's speed it up. Here we go. Chop, 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 it, chop. Chop on the bottom and chop on the top. What there is left, what do we do? Put in the pot. Put in the pot. Chop, 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 chop. And a long bean. Here we go. Chop, 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 chop. Chop on the bottom and chop on the top. What there is left, just put in the pot. Mm. Chop, 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 chop. I still have more. Do you have more? I have got a uh, lemon. Here we go. Chop, 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 chop. Chop at the bottom and chop at the top. What there is left, just put in the pot. Uh. Chop, 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 chop. Mm. I have a very big apple. Chop, 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 chop. Chop off the bottom and chop off the top. What there is left, just put it in the pot. Chop, 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 chop. Oh, one last thing. Apple. <laughs> Look at this cute little apple. Here we go. Chop, 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 chop. Chop on the bottom and chop on the top. What there is left, just put it in the pot. Oh, here it goes. Chop, 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 chop. Now, did you chop up all your vegetables and your fruits? Put it in the pot. Did you? Good. Then you can stir and stir your pot and you're making a nice soup or salad or something like that to stir it. And you can serve it to your mummies and daddies and everybody at home. Enjoy your meal. Today, in Miss Debbie's classroom, I have a board that I can draw on. We're going to um, learn about a poem. And this poem is about caterpillars. You know, caterpillars move very slowly, don't they? Very slowly. And caterpillars also turn into butterflies. This poem that I'm going to share with you is about five caterpillars. Five caterpillars. Let me draw the five caterpillars here. Mm. That's one caterpillar. Oh, caterpillars have lots of legs, right? <laughs> Much more than that, but I'll just draw that, those number of legs, okay? That's one caterpillar. You know, if you'd like to take a piece of paper and draw the caterpillars the way I have, you can do that too. These are the antennas, the eyes, smiling caterpillar and the many many legs how many caterpillars are there now that's one two let me draw much faster draw another caterpillar here antennas eyes and a smiley face that's three caterpillars let's put another one here four caterpillars oh, what about eight smaller one here Antennas, eyes, and a smiley face. <laughs> okay. Oh, I've got legs. Oh no, how can I forget the legs of these caterpillars? All right. Five caterpillars. Where have they gone? Hmm. Hiding away all day long. Five caterpillars. Here they come. Wiggly, squiggly. One by one. Ta -da! There they are, the five <laughs> caterpillars, the five squiggly wiggly caterpillars. Shall we try that again? Okay, we're going to cover up the caterpillars first. <laughs> five caterpillars. Where have they gone? Quick, go and look around your house and see if you can find the five caterpillars. You can look all around, under the table, um, up on a shelf. Uh, where else can you look? Outside the window, uh, behind the curtains. Look all around for the caterpillars, okay? So five caterpillars, where have they gone? <gasps> Hiding away all day long 
Hmm. Wait a minute. Here they come. Five caterpillars. Here they come. Wiggly, squiggly. One by one. One caterpillar. Hello there. Two caterpillars. Oops, can you see? Three and four and five caterpillars. Woo, and there you go. Did you like that poem? Yeah. And so caterpillars also teach us to be patient. How come? Because for caterpillars to turn into butterflies, they need a special life cycle from caterpillars, from an egg first actually, to a caterpillar, and then they turn into a cocoon. And finally, after resting and transforming in the cocoon, they come out as a butterfly. And we need to be patient and wait for that to happen. If we are going to, um, while the, while the uh, caterpillar is in the cocoon, and we just, uh, you know, open up the cocoon and say, come on, caterpillar, I mean, turn into a butterfly, quickly, come on, butterfly, come out. It's not going to happen. And that caterpillar or that butterfly will just die. So we need to be patient to allow things to happen. Yeah? Let's share when we need to wait. Mm, if your mummy is expecting and she has a baby in her tummy, well, we all need to wait. We need to wait for that little baby in her tummy to grow. That's having patience. We need to wait patiently for that baby to grow for nine months in your mommy's tummy before the baby can be born, right? And that is also patience. What else do we need to wait for? We need to wait for flowers to bloom, trees to grow. We need to wait for night to come if it is daytime. And if it is nighttime and we hope for it to be day, we need to wait. And we need to wait patiently. We can't just turn a switch on and off uh, like the lights, right? Okay, and that is patience. Okay, I'm going to share another nice poem with you. Now, we know that um, caterpillars move very slowly. There's another garden um, creature that moves slowly as well. Do you know what it is? It moves very slowly. It has a shell. Mm hmm. A garden snail. Ooh, let's see if I can draw a snail. Okay, so let's imagine that's the shell of a snail, and that's the snail's head, and it has his eyes out here. <laughs> and oh, yeah, it's like that, right? Oh, um, let's see. <laughs> A garden snail slowly slowly very slowly moves the garden snail slowly slowly very slowly up the wooden rail okay let's imagine this is a rail It's moving along very slowly. Slowly, slowly, very slowly moves the garden snail. Slowly, slowly, very slowly along the wooden rail. Can you move slowly like a snail? Can you move slowly like a caterpillar? What if I were to talk to you very slowly now 
Oh dear, it can get very boring, don't you think so? <laughs> yes, of course nobody speaks slowly like that, but nobody speaks very fast either, because if I were to speak very quickly to you, you wouldn't even understand what I'm trying to say to you, right? <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed all the lessons with Miss Debbie in my very special classroom. And I hope to see all of you again in class, okay? All right, for now, stay safe, be happy. You can keep practicing all the things that we've explored. Until I see you again, bye-bye. Goodbye from Miss Debbie's classroom.